you know how you see those people like Steve Irwin and David Attenberg experiencing parts of nature that you can you will never have the opportunity to touch because you're in Singapore because you're in such a far off place that nature practically doesn't exist it's all modern cities and a concrete jungle and you are so far away from it all and you're so into your realm of studying and work and studying and work that you sort of lose touch with everything I mean, of course, it's not a bad thing to do. It's, it's possible and it's fine for people to choose that way, but I've always wanted, personally, I've always wanted the experience that they have to travel the world and experience places like that. And today I did. Today I held a snake and it was, it was so gorgeous. Oh, and it's calling away right now, but like, it's so cute. Oh my god. I mean, I, I would never have this kind of opportunity if I didn't step into this place, you know? I would never have... Because these are things that you don't come across in a zoo. You can't experience in a nature reserve. These are stepping on the ground of nature itself. I saw a vine snake in... Um, a field guide to animals a couple years ago and I, I cause they said they, it was found in the Singapore Zoo and I vowed to find it in the Singapore Zoo and that was three years ago and I had an annual pass to the zoo and I went there every day for like a couple of months and I never found it I never found a fucking vine snake and it's been one day in the forest and I found this gorgeous beauty just, I'm just, I just feel like a childhood dream has come true and I'm watching it climb a tree. It's so cute. Of course, things to note that you must never take things from nature, like you should never take it home. You should never destroy nature. So if you see a snail, don't destroy it. Which is why we've been very careful not to destroy any habitats. My favorite thing about going on walks. Now see, that's a difficult question. When you're in the middle of something you love, you don't really think about what you love about it. You think about the things that you hate, the things that you dislike, the things that you can't stand. And um, there are many things that on this walk I <laughs> haven't really enjoyed, such as the numerous mosquito bites and the fact that there's snails everywhere and I might have stepped on a couple of them. And the fact that I'm sweating so hard that I can't see my face. But, inevitably, I guess, I do love the whole thing. I mean, that's why I came for this walk. That's why I'm still here instead of backing out. And I think the reason why I've done so is because when I go on a walk, I become part of nature. It's not so much like walking into a nature reserve because those are all man-made, those are all constructed places for you to enjoy. But places like these, they're here for you to explore, they're here for you to actually encounter everything that you haven't encountered at home. And it's so far away that all you can hear is the distant rumble of traffic, the distant croak maybe of a truck and that's it that's all of real life that I feel when I'm standing here all that I know is how to place a proper foothold um, which trees look good which plants won't kill me if I go too near them and that really takes away the stress points of my life, you know? I feel so far away from all of it, and it's so relaxing for me to be here. I don't understand why people commit normal murders when you need to commit it here.